If our planet had a common catastrophic threat, such as a large meteor heading toward the Earth, nations would unite and call upon science and technology to solve the pending catastrophe. Border disputes would cease. Bankers, lawyers, and businessmen would be unable to solve the problem. Resources would be harnessed without cost or profit. Today we face many common threats, far beyond national boundaries. In the world today, we have enough resources to solve most human problems. We can build cities, hospitals all over the world if we use resources. But if you can script at all the money in the world, there's not enough money to build hospitals and housing all over the world and finance the education of students. But we do have enough teachers and enough buildings we can use for universities. We have the resources. Money is an interference because it limits our ability and it limits our dreams. Imagine the possibilities of an unprecedented mobilization of scientific and technical alliances toward problem solving without the interference of money or politics to initiate global unification and restoration. This could easily enable a high standard of living for all. This is what Jacques Fresco had in mind when he proposed a resource-based economy. If our planet ran out of resources, no matter how much gold or money or possessions you had, you could not survive. Our entire survival is based upon resources. 